Let's learn about the menu bar and some of the key tools and features you can find in Kami. You can check what license your Kami account is on with the license badge, found on the top left hand side of the menu bar. EDU stands for Education Licenses, TRIAL stands for those on premium trials, PRO stands for those who are using a Kami license professionally outside of education. The sidebar is where you'll find some useful tools to help you navigate your Kami document. These tools can be accessed via the toggle sidebar, which you'll find in the top left hand corner. Selecting thumbnails will allow you to quickly see all your pages and jump to any page in your document. The Outline Document feature provides you with a list of all headings on your document, with the option to show or hide subheadings. This feature will only appear if your PDF has a table of contents embedded in it. Annotation Summary will give you an overview of all annotations present on the document, including its author, where it is on the document, the type of annotation, a timestamp, and a preview of its contents. Annotation Bank lets you save almost all types of annotations in file for later use. There are two ways to save annotations. For comment annotations, simply create the annotation whether it be text, voice or video, then click on the annotation bank icon here to save. For other annotations like equations, shapes, drawings and added media, simply select your annotation with the select tool or hover over the annotation to see the button in the mini toolbar and click to save. You can find all saved annotations in the annotation bank found in the toggle sidebar. Comments that are saved in the annotation bank can be accessed through our autocomplete feature. When you create a text comment, type in the first few letters that correspond to the annotation and Kami will display the selection you can choose from. Clicking on the magnifying glass found next to the sidebar will open the Find in Document menu. Here, you can search for a word or phrase in your document by typing it in the search bar. In the centre of the menu, you'll see the name of the file you currently have open. You can also rename the file by clicking on it. To the right of the file name, you'll find the page zoom controls. You can zoom in and out manually by clicking on the plus or minus symbol. If you're using a touchscreen device, you can use your fingers to zoom as well. The folder icon next to the zoom controls shows you different locations where you can open a file and a list of recent files you've opened in Kami. The Share Document button lets you share your Kami document with the users you want to collaborate with. You can restrict access or give viewing and editing permissions to anyone via the link. Collaborators can also make their own copy of a file after they've been given access, provided you have enabled this option. To share a document, copy the link found at the top of the page, send it to your collaborators and ask them to join you to edit the Kami document. When they click on the link, the document will open in Kami. Remember, if you remove the upload at any time, users who share the file will not be able to access it anymore unless they've made their own individual copy.
if you want to print your file, you can do so by clicking on the printer icon, which you'll find right next to the share button. Just to the right of the print button, you can access your save settings. Kami automatically saves your files as you work. We recommend making sure you check that all your changes have been saved before exiting the tab, or before students submit their work to ensure all changes are synced. If you want to export a document, click on Download. You'll then be asked where you want the file to be downloaded to, your computer, Google Drive, or OneDrive. You can also choose whether you want to export your document with or without annotations. Downloading without annotations is an easy way to retrieve the clean copy of an original file before any annotations were made. You can flatten your annotations here. This will lock your annotations to your page so they are not movable. This excludes text, video, and voice comments made off your document. If you find yourself getting stuck with anything, the Help button found on the top right of the screen is a place to go. Here, you'll find key channels to get help from the Kami team and our supportive community. The Help Center is where you can find a library of articles and frequently asked questions on all things Kami. And if you prefer video tutorials, you can check out our YouTube channel. Do you need help? You can tweet our team, share a post on our Facebook page, and even get help from our global Kami Educators community group on Facebook. Here, you can get advice and tips and tricks from fellow educators who are also using Kami. Following us on Instagram means that you can also reach out to our team through this channel. Finally, you can always reach out to our customer success team who will be happy to answer any of your questions. Towards the bottom of the help menu, you'll find the keyboard shortcuts. This feature enables you to create custom keyboard shortcuts, which makes it easier to access various features or tools quickly. You can also access this feature by pressing shift followed by the forward slash key. The drop down menu found right next to the help button contains some helpful tools and information, including navigation shortcuts, document properties, and layout settings. Split and Merge is an invaluable feature that enables you to rearrange, add, delete, rotate, combine or split any documents into multiple separate files. Once you've done making changes, click Export. You'll then have the option to download it to your local storage, open it in Kami, or save it to your Google Drive. The OCR tool, which stands for Optical Character Recognition, enables the app to detect text on a scanned document. This means you can interact, create, and edit the contents of scanned documents in Kami. Using the Restore Annotations feature, you can quickly and easily restore all of your deleted annotations whenever you need to. After clicking on the Restore Annotations option, you will see a list of every deleted annotation on each page. Click Select to restore the annotations on whichever page you'd like. It's worth noting that you can only restore annotations on a page-by-page -page basis. To restore a single annotation, you'll have to restore the entire page and then delete the rest. If you want to get rid of all annotations, simply click on Delete All Annotations. If you wish to rotate your page, you can do so by clicking on the Rotate buttons. Here, you can rotate your document in 90 degree increments, clockwise and counterclockwise. When working on a ton of pages, Kami gives you the option to change your display. Choosing two page view will simulate a digital notebook, while one page view lets you view a single page at a time.
Your profile information can be found in the top right hand corner of the menu bar. This is where you'll find some of our most less known features. By selecting dark mode, you can change the display for those who prefer a darker screen. This feature is particularly useful for users who are sensitive to blue light and can help reduce eye strain. Settings will display your Cami license details. This is where you can find your account and profile information, general settings, active sessions, and access to turn on and off beta features currently available. A license dashboard can show you general license information and activity, and shows you any Cami licenses that you are listed as an administrator for. If you need to enter a license or trial coupon code, go to Enter License Coupon. Simply enter the license or coupon code, then click Apply. To add pages, go to the bottom of the document and choose from blank, lines, grid, or music sheet. To log out, simply click the Log Out button.